Welcome back to Library Stress YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a puffy sleeve but with a little twist. So it's a new sleeve and it's trendy. Some call it a grandma damn sleeve. So I have my basic sleeve pattern here. But if you notice this basic sleeve pattern, you will notice that the measurement that I have on this upper part, I did not shape the hemline. I used 10 inches measurement here for the hemline. The same measurement that I used for the upper part, the hammer part of the sleeve, because this is the design that we are aiming to create with the sleeve. It's going to be like a standing sleeve, so I'll be adding gum stay or stiff or whatever you have just to strengthen it to it. I'll be using this dull face fabric and I'll be lining it with this taffeta fabric. Okay, so now I have my basic sleeve ready. The next thing now is for me to I'll be cutting this directly on my fabric. I'm just going to fold my fabric into two okay so the fabric is folded into two now so now the length of this sleeve is entirely dependent on you but generally I recommend that it should be either on the elbow or before the elbow it shouldn't go beyond the elbow for nice fitting so okay the basic sleeve that I have here is nine inches and I'm aiming to get like 10 inches so before I place my sleeve I'm just going to measure one inch here and then on season down one inch that I'm going so that I'll have enough allowance for this is already made sleeve that I already have but it is not going to work the length here is not going to work for what I want to make so I'm just trying to create that extra one inch that I need before I place my pattern on it like i said it's dependent on the length that you're going for. okay so i measured the extra that i wanted you can have same allowance which remember it is going to be lined and you are going to be turning it so i had it half inch extra for same allowance so now for my puffy sleeve what i just need to do to create a puffy sleeve is just to increase my calf's height so from here i'm just going to so the length that you're going to be increasing it by depends on how puffy you want it to be it can be three four five or five inches so i'll just be going with a little bit maybe three and a half inches so from where from my stopping point from my starting point here i'll go up by three and a half inches and i'm going to notice with a marker okay so this is the midpoint of my basic sleeve i'm now going to join this either with a cuff or a free hand to so meet up with this midpoint and then continue my sleeve so this now becomes my new calf's height you can see that it is longer so by the time i gather all this it will just give me that puffy effect and then it will still maintain the accurate length that i want for my sleeve i hope you understand this it's very simple for a puffy sleeve you just need to increase your calf's height okay by this i'm increasing mine by three and a half inches and after placing my basic sleeve i measured three and a half inches upward and then i connected it back using my free hand to rhyme with my normal sleeve so now that is all i need to do i'm going to cut this out now and then i'm going to be replicating it on my lining and also i'm going to be attaching gum stay to it so i will cut this house now so now it depends on what you want actually if you want the hemline of your sleeve to be bigger than this you can either increase it manually like this or you can do a slash and spread i've been doing slash and spread a lot on this channel so by now i'm sure we understand what i mean by that but this hemline measurement is okay for me so i'll just go ahead and cut this leaf i'm adding small allowance here and then i'll place this on my so this is what the sleeves look like now you can see how elongated the uh, caps height is and we are going to be we are going to be gathering it so now to guide me on my gathers this is the midpoint of my sleeve if you don't know how to cut a basic sleeve by now please let me know in the comment section so i can do a video on that so this is the midpoint of my sleeve i'm just going to notch it so that it will guide me on where i want to stop my gathering this is where i wish to stop the garden so from here i'm going to be running the gather stitches to gather all this together and you can see that it is already forming a puffiness around here okay so now 
I'll just cut this on my lining and then I'm going to cut it on my gum stay also. I'll high on it with then bring it back to show us. Okay, so now I've cut it on my lining also and then I went ahead to iron gum stay on it. So like I said, you can iron stay, it depends on the, th the how you want it to stand, how much you want it to stand. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I have this gum stay at home and I'm ironing it because it's not so strong. That's why I'm ironing it on both the lining and the main fabric. So now I'm going to take this to the sewing machine, right side facing right side, and then I'm going to sew it on the hemline to conceal the hemline if you want a neat finishing on the sides also you can just sew it on the side so that you use it to turn each other out then we'll give it a good press before we run our gather stitches here so i'll sew it like this and then on both sides of the hemline okay so i've gone ahead to sew it now you can see let me try to i've ironed it that's why it's looking this last i just sew the hemline together you can see how neat it is on the hemline and then on the sides also so the next thing i'm going to do now the notches that i made you can still see the notches see? from here to here i'm going to run a loose stitch here from notch to notch and then i'm going to drag it to gather it and bring it back to show okay so i've run the loose stitches now and i'm going to go ahead to just pick one of it and use it to gather it together okay so once you are gathering it you already know the accurate measurements for your armhole so you gather it to that measurement shouldn't be too small and shouldn't be too big just gather something to fit into the armhole measurement that you want to attach the sleeve to okay now they have been gathered together now this is how much gathers that i want in fact you can even include your gather up to a bit of the underarm area if that is the design that you are looking to get you just need to increase it to accommodate the ham old measurements that you are going to be fixing your sleeve to so now that it is gathered you can see how lovely it is looking and it is standing on its own standing well like this because we have stay inside heat okay so now that this gather is done the next thing for me now is to take the sleeve together on the sides like this and then i'll go ahead to shape this side so i'll take it to the mannequin so that we'll see what we have okay so i've i've sewn it together like this and this is what we have so you can see the hemline that it is quite big and it is not shaped it's just straight like that so if you want if you are aiming to get a puffy sleeve with a slim fitted hemline that is if you are not going for this kind of a madam sleeve you just need to measure the round ham of where your hemline will maybe your round elbow and then you shape it to the honda ham area like this so i think I ha i'm okay with and if you want it small like i explained when i was drafting you can either increase it manually like this or just do a slash and spread method so this is the wrong side i can see that it is considerably neat once i sew this to my fab to my main dress i can easily use a serger to finish it or turn it with bias and i had to do this gathers manually you can see i sewed because there is stay there like two layers of stay so as i was dragging it was just cutting and i i am in a hurry so so just for the purpose of the tutorial i just had to gather it manually if you want your gather to be close together just take your time and gather it on your own and you can include this on the ham area if you want like i said just make sure that by the time you are done the space that you have here is enough to accommodate the ham hole that you are fixing this leaf to so now we are taking it to the mannequin and they will see what we have okay so this is the sleeve on the mannequin you can see the gathered part and like i was saying the elongated caps it doesn't affect the length of your sleeve you just give it puffiness around this area so it will just remain the length that you wish to have and you can have more gathers if you want so this is the sleeve you can see how beautiful and simple it is to make this sleeve kindly like and comment to this tutorial let's see what you think about this sleeve and let us know any challenges that you may encounter while making this loop. See you in the next one. Bye.